All right, well, it's been a very long day, and I really appreciate your patience with um, all of our processes, and um, I hope that you got a lot out of today and heard from a lot of different folks. I really appreciate Andre coming and um, talking about his, his truly, what I consider, um, born in the cloud, cloud native application. I think this is really emblematic of where people in startups are starting to go and the same um, processes and innovation labs and the same technologies are all available to you, um, not just by going to open innovation labs, but by using the, the tools that you've heard about today. And what I'd like you to encourage you all to do is to um, meet your neighbors, keep talking to each other, you've been doing a very good job of that, have some beers, keep connected through the, the commons community, and, um, and, we'll, and we'll hopefully get you on the same path here too. Let's see if we can... No, 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 no. All right, so I think, um, as I keep saying, and you'll hear me say every time I'm doing one of my um, briefings, is that what the key piece for us is that we're collaborating across all of these communities. There's lots of different communities um, that you've heard of. There's new ones being added to the CNCF every month almost these days. So um, look forward to some of the announcements that are coming. Um, from our perspective, um, we do sit in the middle of the, all, all of this. Um, we're taking the stuff in from Kubernetes, from the container side. There's a lot going on for the next two days that I'd really encourage you to look at what we're doing. Um, one of the things that we, we like to say is that you don't have to just listen to us at Red Hat. You can listen to your peers. You, you can listen to the analysts if you want to. Um, there's a lot of um, good documentation out there about the ROI of taking advantage of these new platforms and these new te techniques for developing applications. Um, what we're really trying to do at OpenShift is make Kubernetes enterprise ready for you. Um, you've heard from Clayton uh, about making sure that uh, 3.5 is a hardened version of Kubernetes 1.5. We are really dedicated to making the most secure, enterprise-ready deployment and distribution of Kubernetes that you can find. There's lots of people that are using it. A lot of you are using it. Probably about 50% of you, though, I think, are in POC and discovery mode. So um, we really want to make sure that you feel comfortable, um, that there are other people out there who are using it. We have a Slack channel. So if you go to OpenShift Commons Slack, Dot com or something like that, or find me. Um, I will add you to the Slack channel. There's some good conversations going there on there. Um, we have lots of SIGs. Uh, we tried to get you guys talking in SIG groups at lunchtime, but that kind of worked a little bit. Um, we are adding a new automotive SIG, which did meet upstairs, and so um, there'll be a lot more around the automotive. There are a lot of uh, Deutsche Bourses here, a lot of banking and finance folks are here too, so I think there's a, a rich culture of using um, OpenShift in the financial services sector, and so what we'll probably be doing is rolling out SIGs and having virtual SIG meetings um, over the next coming months between now and Austin, the next KubeCon. And we're going to just keep going here. So um, one thing is, we know, um, they might be um, a unicorn, and we're not all unicorns. And uh, we do like the idea, though, that you can take as enterprises the advantage of these tools and techniques. There are a lot of people um, who think that cloud native is just for the new startups. But I think we can learn a lot from each other, from the enterprises that have got years of experience using all kinds of legacy applications and real world experience to the folks that are doing this startup. And if we have those conversations and we continue to have them together, we're all going to make um, a significant leap in the next coming days and months. So um, this, this little sign here, I'll have to say, um, when we gave it to the printers, they took only the high quality um, logos that I gave them, the high res ones. And so this was kind of random, I think, except for the NASA one, because everybody loves NASA. But there are already um, over 200 and 250 organizations that are part of the OpenShift Commons. Um, I really highly encourage you, there is no cost or fee. This is not a foundation. This is about networking with your peers. And so if you come and see me or you go to commons.openshift.org um, and click on the join form, join. It'll probably take me a day or two to get you enrolled and it, it's quite easy. And we'll try and get you to give a talk 
uh, on your own use cases, on your services that you're integrating, so you can get feedback, you can share your, um, your expertise with others, and just continue these conversations through the rest of this week and through the rest of this year. Um, and that brings us to beer. Um, which is always a very good thing, and I really appreciate you guys um, coming today. Um, we, the last time we did this in Seattle, there were 175 folks. There are 245 of you who actually came through the door today, and a few of you went off and came back and went off and came back. But it's really um, just a pleasure to see this much interest in OpenShift and in Kubernetes and in all the related projects that we're working on. And it, this doesn't happen if you don't come and if you don't participate. And it's really um, not about Red Hat. It's not about OpenShift. It's about the conversations that you guys are going to have over the next couple of days. And hopefully, we've prepped you so you can go in prepared for KubeCon and Cloud Native. Um, Con and um, ask all the right questions and really get a lot out of the next two days. So thank you very much for your patience. And the beer is out the back door. Follow the footsteps to where you had lunch. So, thank you.